श्रीमान वेंकटनाथार्य कविताखिक के केसरी वेदाताचार्यो मे सन्नीदत्ता सदा हृदय नमो नारायण लेट्स कंटिन्यू टू एंजॉय स्वामी देसी कन् हायग्रीव स्त्रोत्र इन द वर्स नंबर फोर्टीन यस्टे स्वामी मेन्शन यस सदा पश्य द वन हु कीप्स कॉन्टम्प्लेटिंग आर् हेज इन इज ध्यान हई अग्रीवन यटर्नली इन द कैविटी ऑफ इज हार्ट फॉर हिम आल वाक्देवता वुड कम रशिंग द वर्ड्स द आर्ट द आल मोड्स ऑफ लर्निंग ज्ञान वुड कंपीट विथ ईच अदर टू कम टू हिम एट द रईट मोमेंट अप्रोप्रियेटली वी सा and that was the fruit the palan of that dhyanam even though the bhagavatotamas were not desirous of those particular material fame or fruits in this shlokam number 15 swami play pays glory praises ayagrivans dhaya grace kataksham showering of his grace showering of his splendor to the other kind of bhagavat bhaktas as well which kind we will see now shlokam 15 apikshanardham kalayanti etvam aplavayantam vishaydairmayukaihi वाचा प्रवाहैरिवारीतस्ते मंदाकिनी मंदय क्षमते हे वागीश्वर लॉर्ड हयग्रीवा विशद मयूख आप्लावय दॉटल वैट रेस् द रेस् दट यमेट the white rays that emanate the spotlessly white rays rays that emanate from you aplavayantam by those rays drenched completely drenched and they they are you you bless them with a complete drench of the rays that emanate from your spotlessly white divya mangala vigraham the splendor you completely drench the bhaktas when those bhaktas ye chanartham api kalayanti abhi api chanartham chana means a fraction of a second 4/5 of a second ardha chanam means half of that 4/5 of a second means 2/5 of a second just 2/5 of a second even kalayanti even if somebody meditates or thinks or prays to you has their dhyanam on you for 2/5 of a second te those fortunate blessed bhagyavan bhagyashalis anivaritai vacham pravahai they will get an uninterrupted incomparable benefits and they will get continuous sarshvata prayogam for of of those upasakas they vacham pravahai they will have the torrential downpour of words walk coming appropriately at the right moment in those debates or in a sadhas and mandagini mandayitum chamante so that even the akasha ganga would be humbled by the speed with which these bhaktas are arguing or narrating or having a oratory skills so the clarity of divine speech that completely exceeds the speed of 
even the akasha gangai mandagini descending from the mountain to the ground so that becomes insignificant compared to the blessings received by the bhaktas by lord hayagriva their walk is uninterrupted anivrutai vacham pravaham the crystal clear spotlessly white rays that arise out of the lord vishadai mayukai aplavayantam they get completely drenched because the the blessing of hayagrivan by getting completely drenched by the by the splendor by the rays by the tejas of hayagrivan on them that vishadai mayukai aplavayantam mayukai means rays kiranams vishadai is same as vishuddha in the fifth slokam vishuddha vijnana gana swarupam vishadai is nothing but the spotlessly white mayukai rays so the vishesha jnanam is is falling on those bhaktas who meditate on lord hayagrivan even for less than half a second according to swami desikan acharya sarvabhauman when he says it has to be true such a blessed one is inundated with the submerged and drenched in the spotless and sanctifying white beams from the lord and he becomes the the master of veda walk to defeat all contestants in the defense of the kula dhanam the parama vaidika shri vaishnava batham the one who is prayed to is lord hayagriva the beneficiary of that prayer is the upasakan who meditates on the lord even for half a second so when when the clouds downpour on the mountain how the mountain splashes the water on the ground and becomes nadi similarly those who have the dhyanam and hayagriva the hayagrivas rays fall on them and they splash the splendor which is falling on them to the world and that vak samriddhi is hayagrivans anugraha vishesha and leave alone the long standing dhyanam and upasanam like what they mentioned in the last verse o oh lord hayagriva what a great dhayalu you are and one who thinks of even half a moment to spare to think of you how much you bless you completely drench them in the torrential downpour of your spotless luster splendor he carries on his speech unopposed by any opponent he goes on on a fluent disposal of his thoughts he is able to put forth emptying any probability of any one contesting his points his manner of delivery far exceeds even the akasha ganga the proverbial celestial ganga and the even the ganga speed appears sluggish compared to the speed with which these bhaktas deliver and their oratory skills this is indeed the great great blessing you bless them confer them on whom so ever thinks of you even momentarily and the and the prayer of upasakan is captured extremely well by acharya sarvabhauman in this wonderful verse and thereby it gives us a semblance of motivation encouragement inspiration to think of lord hayagrivan at least for half a second so that 
we get to receive a semblance of his grace and thereby get the right Vedic Jnana for us to get saved. Kavitarkika Simmaya Kalyana Gunasharini Srimathe Venkateshaya Vedanta Gurave Namaha Adiyan Namonara